Onto another type of resource from Cuba, and this may surprise you, President Raul Castro has arrived in China for an official four-day visit, his first since taking office in 2008. China is Cuba's second largest trading partner, and the two countries work together closely. In one very sophisticated industry, our own very own Michael Voss explains. Cuba has developed a sophisticated biotechnology and genetic engineering industry. Past achievements include the world's first vaccine against meningitis and a range of hepatitis vaccines. With free education in Cuba right up to university level, this national research and production center in Havana has no trouble attracting scientists and engineers. Today, it's the country's third largest export sector, with China an important market. For the most part, China is importing raw materials from Latin America, like copper and nickel. But in Cuba's case, it's also importing advanced biotechnology and medical products. During one of his visits to Havana, President Hu Jintao signed a biotechnology cooperation agreement. China is supporting research in Cuba and three years ago donated this supercomputer to the Biotech and Genetic Engineering Center. Now, as well as buying a range of Cuban patented drugs, some of them are being manufactured in China. We are exporting products to China. We also have been involved in two different joint venture companies producing together with our technologies products from Cuba. And also we are doing now a clinical trial for different products, in particular for Herbeprope. Herbeprope is a new drug designed to treat advanced diabetic foot ulcers, a painful condition which can result in amputations. It's already on sale across much of Latin America. This week, major clinical trials began at eight hospitals in China prior to licensing it for sale there. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.